All right, y'all, so we are going to get into this wash and go. I'm going to show you everything that I did to get the curls for the girls that you see right here and give my honest 100% real opinion on the gel that I'm going to be using for this wash and go. So of course we are starting out on clean hair. I washed my hair the day before, had to go to sleep because your girl just did not have time to do this wash and go the day before. But this is my hair, nice and clean. Of course it is sectioned, so that way we can reduce the amount of tangles. So I'm going to be using the Myel Organics Hawaiian Ginger Styling Gel. It's $9.99. And as you can see, it's nice and thick and clear, which I like with gels. So the smell of this gel, honestly, it's just okay. And to pair with it, I'm going to use Myel Organics Hawaiian Ginger Leave-In Conditioner. So right now what you're going to see me do is basically get my hair prepared. I'm going to section it out in the way that I want to style it. Since my hair is dry, of course, I'm being just gentle in the way that I am going to separate this. And to wet my hair, I'm going to use my trusted long spray bottle because I want to get my hair as saturated as possible typically you would want to kind of like do your wash and go in the shower because your hair will be like soaking wet but unfortunately i couldn't do that because i ran out of time the day before and had to air dry as you saw earlier so i'm going to saturate it with the spray bottle and what i like to do after i wet it is just kind of like run my hands through now i'm going to use some of that leave-in conditioner the hawaiian ginger I'm going to rub that up and begin to just distribute it through my hair, making sure that I get it on all the hair strands so that way my hair is thoroughly coated. Now I'm going to take my trusted wide tooth comb. Shout out to y'all who use the wide tooth comb. This is like my signature anti-breakage tool when I use this to detangle my hair. It just works out a lot better for me. So one thing I will say about the leave-in conditioner, it does have some slip, not the best slip in the world, but it was still, you know, pretty okay. So if you're thinking about using that to detangle your hair, just know you might have to use a little bit more and just take it a little slower with the detangling. But I want to detangle so that way there are no lumps, bumps, or any type of, you know, tangles in my hair. And then I'm going to use my wet brush. This is going to be my smoothing tool, right? So brushes for me are always like secondary detanglers i cannot just like straight up just detangle my hair with a brush because it it just leads to breakage but as a secondary tool to smooth my hair out it works really well like as you can see the more i use the brush my hair is getting sleeker and i'm just ensuring that you know my curls are going to be defined so that is what my hair is looking like there now I'm going to take about this much of the gel. I'm going to start off small and begin to just place that on the hair. So I'm just going to take it and rub it through. Make sure that I'm putting some on my roots as well so that everything is getting coated so as i'm running this through my hair guys i can say that the gel off the break it does feel really good and what i like to do with my wash and goes is just make sure that i am separating the section so that way you know the curls can stand out on their own rather than kind of just leaving them in one big clump if that makes sense so you're just going to see me just do some gentle separation with the hair Now I'm going to move on to this next section here. As before, I'm going to saturate my hair as best as possible with the long spray bottle. I always tell people when it comes to like natural hair growth and length retention, water is your friend. Water provides viscosity, AKA slip for your hair to make sure that you are not literally ripping your hair out because I have done that before. My hair is recovering from me like breaking it off um, last year so it grew back. So I'm so glad about that. So get that water and make sure that you are spraying that hair girl like you want that hair to be as wet as possible because this is going to help the styling gel do its thing and give you a better wash and go at the end of the day so now again you're going to see me just smooth that water in and making sure that the section is soaked as much as possible again with my wide tooth comb we are going to gently detangle that hair making sure that we are getting all like the kinks lumps and bumps out because you do not want to put gel over top of tangles I'm, I'm telling you baby it's not gonna work out if you do not detangle your hair like you need to do something to make sure that the gel doesn't cause more tangles so that's why you're going to see me take my time and just make sure that I'm getting a good gentle detangle with this section with that leave-in conditioner in there 
Now after I've done that, again, grabbing my wet brush. I really do like this brush because I do not experience any breakage when I use it. I use this in my hair and my daughter's natural hair and it's just like a great styling tool to get your hair super smooth and like super sleek. And I think this wet brush was only like $5.99 at Target. So if you don't have one and you're looking for like a nice effective tool that will not rip your hair out, girl, go ahead and try that wet brush so I sectioned that part off just a little bit thinner because I want to do smaller sections in this wash and go and if you are still with me here at this time in the video go ahead and leave me like a water drop emoji or a water emoji thank you so much for like sticking with your girl through this video so now that I have the gel in those sections I'm just going to make sure that I add it to the roots as well when you do your wash and go make sure that you do hit your roots because you don't want like your roots to be super puffy and then everything else to be super defined that will annoy you like after a day or two like especially after your wash and go dries down you kind of want everything to look as cohesive and together as possible now I'm going to separate it out, making sure I give my curls the ability to kind of like stand on their own and making sure that all the gel is touching where I needed to touch for the wash and go. And y'all, I don't know why they call it a wash and go. It is a wash and slow, like ain't nothing go about this hairstyle, which is why I rarely do it. But as you can see, I can actually like put my hands through my hair, run my fingers through my hair, which lets me know that it is detangled really well. And you know, the curls are being separated. So that's what that looks like thus far. And I will take a little bit of that gel and put it just like on the edges, just to hit my edges to see and test out this gel to see if it's good, you know, to hold your edges. If you're used to like some of those Eco Styler gels, they will like gel down your brain cells because they have such a strong hold like the eco solid gels have like a hold of 10 right now this gel is making my hair feel like soft yet defined so i would say maybe like the hold on this maybe like a five or six so now i'm going to move on to this front section of my hair i'm going to untwist it make sure that I get it out the way and basically just repeat the same steps throughout for a wash and go. But guys, comment below and let me know, are you like a frequent wash and go wearer? Like, is this like your go-to style or are you like a once in a while wash and go type person? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be 100% with you guys. Like I rarely do wash and goes. I can't even tell you what possessed me to do this one. For real, for real. Like, as I was sitting there doing this, I was like, girl, what are you doing? Why are you doing this wash and go? But I had ordered this gel from Mayel Organics and I was determined to use it. So I said, let me just, let me just go ahead and slap this wash and go in my hair while I can. So yeah, smoothing everything out and getting the hair prepared making sure that I'm using this leave-in conditioner again in the hair I, for, I failed to mention that the leave-in conditioner actually does smell pretty good it does have like a light scent of ginger and it smells pretty nice it smells a lot better than the gel actually like in my opinion so the leave-in conditioner was pretty good again it doesn't have like the most slip in the world but it wasn't that bad and I would honestly say that I would use that leave-in conditioner again So if you guys look closely, you can kind of see that there's like way more white residue on this section than the previous sections that I did for the wash and go. And that's only because I use a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner than I did in the other sections. But that is fine though, because it's going to like buff out and kind of dry and whatnot. So don't be too worried about that. But I did add the gel on top of that. And now I'm doing that technique where I just go through and kind of separate my curls a little bit more. So that way when they dry, you know, the curls have more of a chance to kind of like stand out by themselves and I'm just making sure to like run my hands through it to make sure that the gel is coating every single hair strand. So this is what my hair looks like. It's about 98% done. I just have like one section in the back to do, but my hair is feeling soft. It is looking defined. You guys comment below and let me know what you think about the curls, like how they are looking to you. But as you can see, the gel is bringing through the curls for the girls and my hair is soft. Like, you know how some gel makes your hair feel just like 
like your curls or like mini helmets that is not going on here with this one so i wanted to show you all parts of my hair so that way you can see how defined my curls are looking so far all in all i like it and i'm just going to add a lot more water to my hair just to make sure you know that everything is copacetic making sure that my hair is nice and moisturized so this is the end result my hair is about 85 percent dry i'm getting ready to go out so i just had to rock it how i could rock it okay but all in all i say that this was actually a really good gel my hair was very defined the only thing is that after a couple of days my scalp was itching a little bit I don't know if that's like directly from the gel but my skin is sensitive anyway but overall I would give this gel and the leave-in conditioner a thumbs up it was a great combination but thank you for joining me guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing clicking that notification bell and I will see you in the next video bye Bye.